Your work study's been approved. For the next two weeks, you're a vet in training. Yes! <laughs> well, I say Cobalt and I could outjump you any day. Prove it. We'll have a jump off. Thursday, six o'clock. Fine. Fine. Your mum was one of the best vets I've ever seen. It's in your blood. There's something I've been wanting to give you for quite some time. It was your mom's. You might as well just keep it because I'm not going to be a vet. You have to beat 58 seconds. No problem. Cobalt can do this in his sleep. What is she doing? Slow down! Pull him up! Ah! Call Dr. Judy! Cobalt's fractured his sesamoid and his pastern. Break them and they almost never heal. Your recommendation? That's it then. No! He won't feel anything, Carol. <laughs> what kind of vet are you? You're supposed to save animals, not kill them. Cobalt loved this field more than any other place. In the few years that I had the privilege of knowing him, I could always count on finding him here. So, it's on this spot that we choose to honor him with this little tree. A token of our love for, for a magnificent horse. And a symbol of life to help us accept his death. Anyone else want to say anything? You knew him better than anyone, Carol. Cobalt was a special horse. He was brave and proud, courageous, sometimes hot-tempered. He wouldn't be much of a stallion if he wasn't. But he had a gentle soul and a big heart. And I have a feeling if he was here right now, he'd eat all the leaves off this tree. And did you see the way Mrs. Reg was looking right at Veronica when she was talking about Cobalt? That's just because Cobalt was hers. She never bothered to care before. Yeah, but she did look really upset. Oh, please. It's like everybody feels so bad for Veronica. It makes me feel sick. I guess most people don't know what really happened. She deserves to be banned from Pine Hollow. Max warned her not to take that jump at a gallop. And she did anyway. <sighs> she killed Cobalt, and she's still at the stables. There's no way I can go back there. What? It's over. I quit. Carol, you can't. Good, Amelia. Good. Next time I want to see you give with your hands. Okay. Good. Sam? I don't think Pepper's ready. Well, it's your job to make him ready. Let's go. I just don't think it's fair. What? This, the lesson. How can you just pretend like everything's fine, like nothing's changed? Does everyone feel like that? you're all here for your lesson. What does that tell me? <coughs> that you want to get over what's happened and move on. And that's good. And I assume you want to learn to be better riders, right? It's OK if you're not up to it today, Sam. You want to sit out of the jumping? OK. Who's next? I'll go. Yep. Just 
in time. How was the lesson? We didn't go. It didn't seem the same without you. I told you I was fine. You've got to come back. Starlight is totally miserable. We miss you. I can't. What about Starlight? You can't just forget about him. You can write him if you want. Come on. Quitting Pine Hollow isn't going to bring Cobalt back. I know, and I know he wasn't my horse. But it felt like it. I loved him so much. I just don't want to do this anymore, okay? Come on, you have to eat something. Is Delilah giving you trouble? She won't eat anything. I think there's something wrong with her. Oh, she looks fine to me. Don't worry, she'll eat when she gets hungry enough. I know what's wrong. You do? What's your diagnosis? Delilah, Mrs. Cobalt. Yes. I'm sure she does. <laughs> oh, Starlight. Looks like there's a lot of lonely horses at Pine Hollow these days. You line him up perfectly, Sam. If you pull him out of a jump like that, you'll teach him to refuse. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. I want to see you take him over next time. Maybe later. How about now? Looking great, Sam. Keep going. Give him his head. Next time. Okay. Why don't you lay off the jumping for a while? Till you're ready. This isn't doing either you or Pepper any good. Okay? She's been fussy about her feet lately. Won't let anyone lift them without a fight. Any sign of pain? Swelling? No. She's just being stubborn. She's entitled. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Max. Have you seen Carol late? Not since the memorial for Cobalt. I guess she didn't finish her work study with you. No. I've left a couple of messages for her, but I haven't heard back. She's taken Cobalt's death pretty hard. I know she loved him, but I never thought Carol would quit the stables. Or her job with you. Oh, she quit before Cobalt died. She did? Hmm. Why? Beats me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. Sometimes I forget she's just a kid. She's so like her mother. Focused. Determined. <laughs> Some would say stubborn. <laughs> oh, Karen, she was so passionate, wasn't she? And she really loved taking care of the animals. Just like Carol. She was really getting into the job. Oh, I don't know what happened. Mm. I wish Karen was here now. She'd know exactly what to say to Carol. I can deal with any equine, feline or canine you care to throw my way. But children, entirely foreign language. No, I wouldn't give up on her just yet. Dr. Judy, what are you doing here? I'm on my way to an appointment. I just thought I'd see how you were doing. Fine. I'm sorry I snapped at you the other day, Carol. I know how much Cobalt meant to you. You were just doing your job. It's never easy to put an animal down. If it is, it's time to change jobs. But sometimes saving an animal only prolongs its pain. And when that happens, it's much kinder to put them to sleep. And sometimes you can save them. But the owners just tell you not to bother. There was nothing else we could do for him. The D'Angelo's made the right decision. Cobalt died peacefully, surrounded by the people who loved him. Would you rather he was still suffering? No. This isn't just about Cobalt, is it? You're becoming such a great assistant, too. Your mum would have been proud of you. Thanks, but I don't want to be a vet anymore. OK. But if you change your mind, you let me know, all right? What? 
I want you to sell Starlight for me. You can't. You can never give him up. I have to. I quit writing, so... So you're insane. Stevie. I don't want to see him. You have to sell him for me. You'll break his heart. What's the point in me keeping him? You bought Starlight with the money your mom left you. You can't just sell him. She knew how much you loved writing. Yeah, I used to. We all feel bad. Then how come you're still writing? Comanche and Patch and Starlight shouldn't be punished. It's not their fault. Fine. I'll do it myself. <sighs> Starlight was so down today. He knows something's wrong. Of course he does. Kara's never been away from him for more than a day. Exactly. She loves horses. She doesn't really want to give it all up. I wish there was something we could do to help her. There is. We can sell Starlight. Stevie, didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, and I also heard Carol. If she says that she wants to give up the one thing that's more important to her than anything else in the world. She's upset. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what she wants. We'll sell Starlight for her. And I know just the buyer. You found someone already? Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, it's just so fast. Well, it's better for everyone if we get it over with soon. It's perfect. Starlight really needs a home, and this person really needs a horse. You even know the buyer. Who? Veronica. <laughs> Sorry I haven't come to see you. You're mad at me, huh? Don't worry, I won't let Veronica buy you. I'll find someone nice for you. Trust me, you don't want to be around me. First it was my mom, then Cobalt. It's like I'm jinxed. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? What am I gonna do without you? Veronica! Leave me alone! No! Watch my arm! You're not getting Starlight. I don't want your ugly horse. I don't know how you can even look at another horse after what you did to Cobalt. What? How dare you, you say something If it weren't for like you, that. Cobalt would still be alive. I'm not gonna let you kill Starlight, too. I told you. I don't want Starlight. I'm not buying another horse. Stevie said... How would she know anything? You're really not getting another horse? My parents were looking at a really expensive jumper, but I talked them out of it. Why? <laughs> you were right. If it wasn't for me... Robot would still be alive. He didn't want to jump that fence, but I whipped him. He didn't want to let me down. It's okay. Hi, Sam. You know, there's truth behind that old cliche, Sam. You've got to get right back on that horse again. I've been riding. If I hadn't challenged Veronica to that stupid jump off, nothing would have happened. It is not your fault, Sam. Veronica's the one who screwed up. But I pushed her. You didn't put Cobalt in danger. She did. Veronica knew what could happen if she rode recklessly. Nobody made her do it. I guess. Pepper's keen to try again. And you can take it real slow. Okay? I'll go get Pepper. <laughs> Delilah, stop it! What's wrong? Carol anywhere. 
there. You? Earth calling Lisa. What's wrong with you? Are they talking to each other? Dr. Judy! What is it? Something's wrong with Delilah. Dr. Judy, what's wrong? Follow me. Is she okay? What happened? Oh, she's just cranky. They're both doing fine. Both? We'll have a look just in case. What's wrong? Delilah's well, pregnant with Cobalt's fall. I wanted to tell you, Carol, but they swore me to secrecy. We wanted to make sure everything was okay first. You should have told me. When is she going to have the fall? Yeah, four and a half months. I can't wait. You ready to hear the heartbeat? There you go. I can hear it. Cool. <laughs> Riding Starlight. It's like there's no one else on the planet except them. Nice job, Carol. You must have an excellent jumping coach. Yeah, except he's a humongous ego. Great. Put me right after Carol. No pressure there or anything. <laughs> Dad, stop it! You're totally embarrassing me. That's what dads are for. Check the manual. Don't turn it off. Now, I think this next bit is where you and your mom had that water fight in the backyard. <laughs> Glad you're watching some of these. I wanted to watch the jumping. Well, no, that's on the other tape. I know. Every time I see mom, it's like... I always think about her in the hospital. Remember all the good times we had together? Before she got sick? I guess. Like when she brought the piglets home from the hospital. And we had to feed them a bottle every hour. <laughs> or that time you had the lemonade stand. Oh. Mom accidentally gave me the clam juice she was saving in the fridge. All the neighbors were complaining about fishy lemonade. <laughs> I wish she was here now. Me too. So you know what I do? I try to imagine what she would say. Stop moping around? <laughs> Maybe. Or she might ask... why you quit your job with Judy. What do you mean? Your mom would have been so proud of you, Carol. I kept screwing up. So what? Look, it doesn't matter if you're the worst vet in the world. Your mom would have thought you were the best. You know, there's some people in this world who shine so bright that just being near them makes you happy. That was mom. And that's you. You're a lot like her whether or not if you decide to become a vet. I still want to, but... But? Look, you can't stop loving something because you're afraid of being hurt. It's not that. It's confusing. Delilah's having Cobalt's fault. 
Well, that's great. Look, you should be excited. How can I be happy when Cobalt's gone? <sighs> then don't choose. Be both. Be happy for Delilah and, and sad because you miss Cobalt. And excited about the new fold. Look, feel it all at once. But it doesn't mean you don't love Cobalt. And I think if you do that, you might feel your mom close by. you might like to have this. When did you take that? At the open house last year. It's not a very good picture. You're welcome, Veronica. Dr. Judy. Hi, Carol. Um, if you need any help with Delilah's pregnancy. I'm counting on it. Really? Well, I could be there for the birth. I mean, if it's okay with you. Great. But that does not mean that I've decided to be a vet. Who says you have to? I kind of promised my mom. When you were how old? Six? Five. When I was five, I wanted to be a cat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all your mom wanted was for you to be happy. You know that I'm never, ever going to believe you ever again. How come? I can't believe you guys told me that Veronica was going to buy Starlight. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> <laughs> job for once. Actually, I got Prancer ready. Really? Thanks. Don't thank me. I'm riding Prancer today. You are not. Max assigned her to me. <coughs> Who am I supposed to ride? If she sticks her nose up any higher, she won't be able to see where she's going. <coughs> Doesn't matter. Hatch doesn't look like he wants to go anywhere anyway. I'm not going to waste my time on a second-rate school pony. <laughs> Stop, you stupid nag! <laughs> You're not good enough to ride that horse, and I'm going to make sure everyone knows it. my turn to ride Prancer today. No, Max saw how good you were getting. Lisa, it's official. You've graduated from Push Button Patch. The best part was the look on Veronica's face. <laughs> Stop it, you're scaring me. <laughs> Come on, give Veronica a break. She's probably still upset about Cobalt. Whose side are you on? All I'm saying is maybe she's acting weird because she's not upset. She's being selfish. That's Veronica. I wasn't saying Veronica should ride... Prancer. Can you believe Max put Lisa on Prancer? I'm way better than her. I've been riding for longer. 
I've got a bookshelf full of trophies. A whole wall covered in ribbons. Oh, hi, I'm looking for Red O'Malley. He was here sure, a second he's ago. around here somewhere. Actually, I think I saw him in the tack room. The what? Where are right the gear next for the door? horses Hey, Jake. I thought I heard your voice. <laughs> what are you doing here? He's so cute. You can say that again. We're not gonna fight over a guy, are we? <laughs> no way. Look, unless we start practicing regularly, I mean, the band's gonna fall apart, Red. I don't have any time. Look, I mean, when you first came here, the, the band was the most important thing to you. I mean, you know, what happened? I've got this job, more responsibility. Well, look, we all have to make sacrifices. Hey, I'm even prepared to cut school. Cut school. What a hero. Of course, we could always get a new lead guitar. There is this one guy down at first Hey. Hey. Right, I'll see what I can do. Come in. Hi, Max. How are you going? Still fighting the paper war. You should take some time off. I said goodbye to that when I took over this place. But if you work all the time, you know, you, you don't get around to the other things in life, the, the important things. Well, I appreciate the concern, Red, but are we talking about me here? No, just generally. Which includes you, right? Well, yeah. How much time do you want off? Just one day. Which one? Saturday. Ah, oh, not the Saturday, Red. Hey! Hi. Hi, Red. Yeah, hi. Great to see you. You too. <clears throat> uh, look, Red, uh, if you can find some, someone to do some part-time work, then you can take the Saturday. Okay. Thanks. I've got someone in mind. So, <gasps> great to see you. You too. I think you'd still be here. I'm Christy. Jake. Is it hard learning the guitar? You've just got to practice. Could you teach me something? Sure. Um, I'm working on something new right now. No, get comfortable with it. Right. Pull the body in closer. Closer. I'm Veronica. He's Jake. How are you doing, Veronica? Coping. Jake's teaching me one of his songs. I write songs and poems. I could let you see them if you like. Yeah, cool. I'll bring some in. Come on, Christy, let's go. My mum's picking us up early today, so if you want to ride home... But your mum's never early. It's a very long walk to your place. <sighs> Thanks for the lesson, Jake. I'm Phil. You right here? No, I'm waiting for Red. Huh. Can I help you? What's your secret? What? Veronica and Christy, they were all over you. Yeah. So how do you do it? I don't know. I'm trying to ask this girl out, but it's not happening. I know I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know what. It's just that you seem like you're good at talking to girls. I was wondering if you could give me a few tips. Tell them they look good. You mean, like, compliments? Sure. Look, girls love it whenever you tell them that their hair looks good or their clothes, whatever. Compliments? It's that simple. Girls are not complicated. Trust me. What's wrong? Are you sick? Max! Yeah? Could you look at Prancer for me? She doesn't see myself, does she? 
Will she be okay to ride? Yeah, I think so. She'll probably pick up during the morning. What's wrong, Prancer? If you can't do it, get out of the way. A horse is only as good as its rider. You'd better call it a day, Lisa. There's something wrong with Prancer. I'll ask Reddy to check on her feed. OK. And just a short call out around the yard. Don't take her up to the quarry. <laughs> Like your shirt. It's new, isn't it? It's Chad's. I wish I had a brother who could share his clothes. So do I. You didn't ask? He'll never know I wore it. <gasps> You're right, he'll never notice. He's gonna kill me. What do you do with soda? Most people drink it. Carol! Okay, I'll go get Mrs. Reg. She knows everything. Coming through! Stevie, I really like your shirt. What? Your shirt. It's good. What's good about it? For one thing, uh, the colour. So I spilt a little soda on it. Glad you think it's so funny. Here, this will keep you warm. You OK? I'm fine, but Prancer still seems sick or something. All horses have off days. She'll come around. She's just slacking off because you put a novice rider on her, Max. I don't consider Lisa a novice anymore, Veronica. Compared to me, she's novice. Isn't that right, Max? You are definitely more experienced, Veronica. No one could deny that. Maybe Veronica's right. Maybe she should ride Prancer. I don't want you to lose your confidence. It's all right, Max. I'm missing Patch anyway. Just tomorrow. Of course. Unless Prancer improves dramatically with me riding her. And believe me, she will. Patch looks so happy you were going to ride him again. I love Patch, but... Look, it's just for one day. You'll be back on Prancer in a flash. Not when Max sees how different she is with an experienced rider. Prance is not well and I know it, Max. Lisa! I like that shirt. Tell that to someone who cares, Phil. Red, did you check Prance's feed? I double-checked it. It's fine. I wonder what it can be, then. We don't know what's up with Prancer right now, but all the horses have been put on a carefully planned feed schedule. I don't want anybody giving them anything extra. Not even carrots? No. And no jelly beans. No jelly beans. We had a girl here who used to treat a horse to extra oats and it turned into a steeplechaser who jumped every fence in sight. Hey, Red, hold up. So, you help out work here. I'll get time off. We get a band rehearsal. But I, I'm not interested in horses. So what are you doing here, Jake? Oh, I'm just hanging around. Yeah, right. With Christy and Veronica? Aren't they a little young for you? What can I say? Can't help it if they dig me. Must be my Irish charm. Irish blarney. <laughs> Take the job and hang around here. Get paid for it. We might get some rehearsals. Oh, yuck. I don't do horse manure. Jake, it's 
not working for me. The compliment thing. Really? Well, try playing it cool. Play it cool? Yeah, ignore her. Are you sure? But she's already ignoring me. If I ignore her too, then we might as well be on different planets. Look, you asked for my advice, you've got it. Right. Ignore her. Hello, girl. I've got some modes for you. Come on, Prancer. Eat up. You'll be flying over those jumps tomorrow. Excellent, Veronica. You've either got it or you don't. Right, Lisa? Stevie, you're up. I know how much Prancer means to you, so I'll let you call her out. It's the only way you'll get to ride her. Lisa doesn't have to do your chores. It's okay, I want to. I'll put Patch away and then we'll take Prancer up to the quarry with us. Why don't you ask Phil to come? No way, he totally insulted me yesterday. What did he say? It's not what he said, it's how he said it. Which is how? Well, it's hard to explain. Go ask him, Stevie. We're going out to the quarry trail. Do you want to come? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm busy. Busy doing what? Stuff? Is there something in that fireplace? Could be. Something not visible to the human eye? Maybe. Well, we're going now. Okay. It's got to be something Veronica is doing. Like what? Something to make her look good and you look bad. You mean she made Prancer sick? Veronica wouldn't do something like that. Lisa, think about it. She's mad you got Prancer. And suddenly Prancer starts acting all weird when you ride her. And perfect when she rides her. Exactly. Or she gets the best out of the horse, and I don't. That's what she wants you to believe. We need to go talk to Veronica. You don't have any proof. So we'll find some. Are you coming? I'll catch up with you later. She's still around. There's her coat and bag. She's probably drooling over that friend of Red's. There's probably lots of evidence in that bag. But we can't just go through his stuff. You're right. Aha, this proves she's been torturing Prancer. With an eyelash curler? She could be. All it proves is that Veronica is vain. <laughs> what are you girls doing going through Veronica's things? Where's everyone else? Don't you mean, where's Stevie? Why would I want to talk to Stevie? Because you like her? Who says? <laughs> and she likes you. Really? Looks like it to me. But every time I try to talk to her, she gets angry at me. And when I ignore her, she walks off. Don't ignore her. She hates that. <laughs> and so do I. That's Oleander, it's poisonous. Poisonous? You 
definitely owe her an apology. We weren't going through her stuff. Not really. Aha, there you are. Stevie and Carol have something they want to say. Did you give her oats? Just as a treat. You know, you're not supposed to give her anything. But she was hungry. You gave her oats to boost her energy. Well, uh, I thought it might make her feel better. Red explained the feed schedule very carefully. You're suspended from lessons until further notice. What? You can't do that! Just watch me. And if you're lucky, I might, just might, let you ride Patch again. <laughs> She's been poisoned! It's a little distended. Nothing really serious. Eyes are a bit glassy. Hmm. Temperature's pretty normal. Well, Prancer didn't eat very much, so... Uh... I'd say she'll be all right in about 24 hours. Thanks, Dr. Judy. I knew it wasn't your riding. We took Prancer up to the quarry after your first lesson. She ate the oleander and was sick the next day. And I didn't take her up that day. So, by the time Veronica rode her, she was fine. Well, congratulations to whoever knew that oleander was poisonous. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> 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 Another satisfied customer. What was it? Playing a coup? Oleander. Oleander? How does that work? Don't worry. You had to be there. Oh, hey, Ray. Are we still on for Saturday? Or are you, you know, gonna stay here and clean up after horses? I told you I have to work. Why don't you come and help me out? And let the guys down. No way. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Watch yourself. Thanks. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jake. Oh, hi. Deborah Hale. Great, yeah. Hey, are you early or am I late? Um, I'm late. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You must be Red's friend. Hi, uh, I'm Jake, yes. Jake's going to work for us part-time. What? Yes, of course I am. Good. Red will tell you what to do. Looks like you get Saturday off. Sorry. What are you talking about? Is it Deborah? I'm just trying to help you. Jake's not right for you. It's more than just Jake and me. It's Jake, me, and the music. And what about Red? It was a crush, but with Jake and me, it's a relationship. It's way more mature. So it's Red yesterday, Jake today. Who's it going to be tomorrow? Jake. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. But look, I'm sorry, because Jake has said some pretty amazing personal things to me. Like what? When he was reading my poetry, you know what he said? Veronica, don't ever show this to anyone else, because they won't understand. But you know what he said to me? He said, Christy, music will always keep us together. <sighs> Okay, okay. This is what we're gonna do. Let him decide. Right, let's do it. Ooh, nice shirt, Jake. Yeah, but do you like music? Yeah, very much. I'm a musician. Really? What instrument do you play? I play the guitar. Oh, I've always wanted to learn to play guitar. Well, I could teach you if you want. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd really love to teach you. I'd, that's really nice of you, Jake. Oh, there you are. You set? We've got to go. You do. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be here if you need, need me for now. She's way too old for him. He must be so desperate. Look, I got, I got a call. Hey, Red, wait up. Do you need any help with anything? I'm free. OK. Go! 
Hans is practically flying. A horse is only as good as its rider, right, Veronica? Great riding, girls. Won't you open up the door? 